Picard's method of successive approximation is used to solve the first order ordinary differential equation dy by dx equal to f of xy subject to the initial condition y of x0 equal to y0. Let's now proceed with the problem. Given dy by dx that is f of xy is equal to y plus x. Here y of 0 is equal to 1. That is the initial conditions are x0 equal to 0 and y0 equal to 1. We have to solve the given differential equation by Picard's method up to fifth approximation. By Picard's method, we have y is equal to y0 plus integral over x0 to x f of xy dx. Now, substituting the values of x0, y0 and f of xy in this equation, we get y is equal to y0 is 1. Therefore, we have 1 plus integral over x0 is 0. 0 to x y plus x dx. Let's denote this as equation number 1. Let's now proceed with the first iteration or the first approximation. Substituting y equal to y naught in the right hand side of equation 1 we get y1 is equal to 1 plus integral over 0 to x into y0 plus x dx that is y1 is equal to 1 plus integral over 0 to x y0 is 1 so we get 1 plus x dx let us denote this as equation number 2 now integrating equation 2 and substituting the limits, we get y1 is equal to 1 plus x plus x square by 2. That is y1 is equal to 1 plus x plus x square by 2. Let's now proceed with second approximation. So we have to substitute y is equal to y1 in the right hand side of equation 1. So that we get y2 is equal to 1 plus integral over 0 to x into y1 plus x dx that is y2 will be 1 
plus integral of zero to x y one is one plus x plus x square by two. So we get one plus x plus x square by two plus x dx. That is y two can be written as one plus integral over zero to x one plus here I have one x another x therefore we have one plus two x plus x square by two into dx. Let's now denote this as equation number three. So now integrating equation three and substituting the limits, we get y two is equal to one plus x plus two into x square by two. Plus one by two into x cube by three. Simplifying, we get y two is equal to one plus x plus x square plus x cube. Divided by six. Now, repeating this process, we can find the third approximation, from which we get y three. Fourth approximation, from which we get y four, and then fifth approximation will give y five.